climate changing, we're faced more and more each year with more dangerous extreme weather. Stronger storms, heat waves, droughts, monster storms. It's always something new and more terrifying as we go. We keep hoping it'll change, but we're left to wonder what comes next. Cities and highly trafficked landmarks are sinking and eventually will be underwater. From the Big Apple to the floating city, to cityscapes you never expect. Even one that would be under by now, but has reversed the effects entirely. At this rate, the face of the Earth in the next 100 years may be altogether unrecognizable. So hang tight, subscribe to the channel, and let's take a closer look at the 12 places that will be underwater soon. Number 12. Venice, Italy As we now know, Venice is sinking at an astounding rate of 0.08 inches per year. A great storm in 1966 raised the water levels nearly 6 feet higher than it was before, and it hasn't stopped since. Venice brings in thousands of tourists every year, and rising waters are nothing new to those Venice veterans out there. Still, the waters go back down a little less each time. Venice is romantic, and its waterways bring people out from all over the world. But soon, if the proposed seawalls aren't built, you'll need the gondolas to get everywhere instead of just through the infamous rivers. Unfortunately, that doesn't sound like a very romantic getaway to me. Number 11. Havana, Cuba To anyone familiar with the Caribbean, the entire area is at risk with rising tides and climate change. But Cuba and many islands nearby are most at risk. There's no inland to retreat to when you live on an island. The storms that batter its coast every summer are nothing compared to rising sea levels. The coastlines are shrinking and require serious work. As much of this is currently unavoidable, the best many communities can do is relocate. Havana, Cuba could be up to 20% loss of the ocean as soon as 2100. Worse, if the current models change. Maybe now is not the best time for island life, no matter how appealing it might sound. Before we go on, like this video, pop the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell right now, or the ghost in your closet will manifest itself tonight. Number 10. Dhaka, Bangladesh Despite only producing less than 0.3% of the emissions causing climate change, Bangladesh is battered with its effects. The country's entirety could go underwater as soon as 2100. An estimated 15 million people could be affected by 2050 in the low-lying lands. They're no stranger to rough and dangerous storms, but each year they get worse. Tides higher, more destructive, and dangerous. Already pretty low, it won't take much to submerge the city. It's already a third of the way there. Bangladesh might be known for its river, but it might end up being a bit more prominent of a feature than anyone really wants at this rate. Number 9. Bangkok, Thailand a little slower, but Bangkok is just as steady. Bangkok is sinking at a general rate of 1 to 2 centimeters per year, and sometimes a little more than that. This seems slow, but as it is already a low-lying area, researchers suggest the city could be well below sea level as soon as 2030, if not potentially entirely underwater. Thailand is certainly doing its part, like building an 11-acre park that will fill with up to 1 million gallons of water during the rainy season. Urbanization is one thing, but human activity can make the difference. Bangkok is known as a thriving hub of nightlife and excitement. I don't really think underwater was really what they wanted though. It seems like millions of people might need somewhere to go, even sooner than most of the other ones on this list. Number 8. New Orleans, Louisiana Life-altering, disastrous storms often batter Louisiana. It should come as no surprise that this Gulf Coast area will be underwater by 2100. Some parts of Louisiana are already 15 feet below sea level, and New Orleans is located on a river delta, which exposes it further to sea level rise and widespread flooding. Between oil drilling, groundwater pumping, and a natural shift of the Earth's tectonic plates, it is a dangerous mix of human and natural forces sinking New Orleans lower. Native peoples have been known to travel with the tides, as the area was naturally coming in like that. Since the people have settled, that's not so feasible and the fixes aren't so great, or at the very least aren't permanent. Well, maybe in the next 100 years, they'll start hosting Mardi Gras on boats. Just an idea. Number 7. Rotterdam, the Netherlands Rotterdam already sits 90% below sea level. The rising ocean levels are only making worse an existing issue. They've done a great job in the Netherlands, navigating around the increasing sea levels, but eventually something's got to give. 
At some point, foundations crack, sinkholes start appearing, roads destabilize, and the flood risk rears its ugly hands. We may only have until 2050 before we can no longer take selfies in front of the Netherlands' most famous windmills. Do you think they'll switch to water-based energy sources? It might not be a bad time to look into it. Number 6. Houston, Texas Unfortunately, Houston was built on a swamp, soft wetlands that don't stand a chance against the climate change. Just like many others on this list, overpumping groundwater is a recipe for disaster. Pair that with a changing landscape, stronger storms, and rising sea levels, most of coastal Texas and Houston specifically may be underwater by 2050, as much of the rest of this list. The Lone Star State is no stranger to storms, but a shrinking coastline might be a bit much to shoo off. Houston, we have very much have a problem. Number 5. Alexandria, Egypt The beaches of Alexandria get smaller each year, as is the danger of a coastal place with rising sea levels all around. The thing is, it's the whole land, everything surrounding the Nile Delta is sinking at the same rate. This is partly due to the upstream dams preventing the replenishment of silt and natural gas extraction. It is said we have until about 2070 before Alexandria is partially underwater, likely along with quite a bit more around the Nile. Better book you a vacation soon. Number 4. Long Beach, California Now, unlike many others on this list, this is less a single city than a general area. California has long since been claimed to be going under, whether at a single point or in general. Many have claimed California will break off due to seismic activity like earthquakes or its place in the ring of fire. That being said, this possibility is a bit more realistic and daunting. The California coast is disappearing and it's due to rising sea levels. Californians are working at it, but the options are limited. Do they build a concrete wall around California and kill the natural marshes and salt life? About $10 billion is at risk by the year 2050, as researchers believe California may be underwater well before then. Number 3. Miami, Florida Now, Miami is flashy and pretty and has an expiration date. It said somewhere around $15 to $23 billion worth of property in Miami could be underwater by 2050 due mainly to groundwater extraction and human activity. The beaches won't be too pretty underwater. Though maybe with a new coastline, we'll have unique sorts of waterfront property. Probably a bit closer to Orlando given current projections, Disney on the beach does have kind of a great ring to it. We may only have about 30 years to figure out the logistics. Number 2. New York, New York The city that never sleeps is certainly not the city that never sinks. By 2100, some researchers say that New York could sink as low as 6.6 .6 feet down from where we recognize it today. Maybe that doesn't seem like much until you think about graves only being 6 feet lower. Like many other coastal areas, the higher warmer the world gets, the more the ice caps melt, and the higher the oceans get soon enough. Ellis Island won't be so much an island as a slightly more elevated part of the ground beneath the Hudson Bay. I hope Lady Liberty packed an extra pair of board shorts. Number 1. Tokyo, Japan The best for last, because this one ends on hopeful promising notes. Parts of Tokyo have already gone down. In the 20th century, Tokyo sank more than 4 meters lower than it used to be. Plagued by tsunamis, typhoons, earthquakes, and sinking neighborhoods, Tokyo was going down fast. But they took action to stop it before things got worse. Like many others on this list, the groundwater extraction was causing the problems. Luckily, Japan's government saw the issue. They were sinking at a rate of 9 inches per year, and it's now halted due to laws being in place. So instead of letting it any lower, because it absolutely would have, Japan is just slightly lower now, but not getting worse. Maybe there are ways like Tokyo found to turn things around, but in the next 100 or so years, the world may look quite different from what we're used to seeing. New shorelines, new sets of beachfront property, and quite a lot more ocean. These 12 are just the tip of the iceberg, and that iceberg is already melting. Now I'm just wondering what these new bay areas and beachfront properties will look like if we don't take care of it. And if we don't, I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens.